My name's Nadia and I was born and raised in this area. Um, yesterday, I, I heard what happened and I came down and I brought all my friends, uh, people from all over, all over the United Kingdom came and we bought barrels and barrels of clothes and we bought f untold food and, and so much of everything. And I didn't want to watch the news because I didn't want to watch that my friends had died. So I didn't watch the news until I got back after 15 hours of being on my feet. I came back for them to say that there were 17 people dead. Have you seen the building? There's more than 17 people dead. And then I thought, where are the missing people? Where's the list of the 500 people that live in that building? 600 people that live in their building. Where's the list on the news? The list on the news shows about 10 people or 15 people. Okay, let's just say they show 30 people. Where's the rest? Where's the rest of the 500 people? Why is everyone walking around with missing on their, on their where is everyone? Where are the victims? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing it? We're packing boxes. We're, we're sending food. We're send, we're pack to who? They've died. So what they need to do is they need to pack these boxes and they need to sell them, not send it to Oxfam or Red Cross because Red Cross and Oxfam are not here helping us. This is the community that are helping us. So you're going to send all this stuff to Oxfam and Red Cross and they don't deserve it. The people that deserve it are the people that died in that building because they wanted to make it look pretty and it's an inferno. They burnt them. It was gone in five minutes. From 15 minutes it took to burn. Who's alive? Where are they? Where are the victims? I, I haven't met one. I've been here for two days. I live here. I haven't met one victim. I've met volunteers and I've met people that want to help, but I haven't met, I haven't met anybody, no victims. None of the people that I grew up with, I can't find anyone. Where are they? Where are they? The s Go and sell it, S sell all the boxes and pay for the funerals because there's going to be 500 funerals that you need to pay for. This is I'm not doing it. I'm not volunteering anymore. I'm not volunteering until I see until I see some victims that I'm helping. I want. I came here to help people. Where are they? Show me one. Show me one person. Are you a victim? Are you a victim? Are you a victim? No, no one's a victim. Everyone's everyone's here to help. My friends, all my friends are coming down to help. Pack them boxes and sell them. Don't let them send it to Oxfam and Red Cross who are not helping us. We have to pay for 500 funerals. Everyone's gone. Do you think well, someone should be held to account for this? Absolutely, the government. Whoever put that pretty stuff around there, that made it an inferno. And the reason that the fire brigade told them to stay in there is because protocol says stay in your, stay in your apartment. You know why I say stays in your apartment? Because they haven't got that inferno. You know, when you see a building and there's, uh, someone's had a fire, it'll be one window that's black. And that's the house that burnt, right? Right. But because they put an inferno, the fire went up, across and down. They were trapped. How? Where are they getting out? You're in, you're in a building that's got a fire doing that and they're telling you to go down the stairs and they're trying to go down the stairs and their feet are burning. So we're doing this for who? Who are we doing it for? Everyone's died. Where are they? Where, where are the people that I grew up with? Where are they? I don't know all these people. I don't even know who's a victim. I don't know who's here to help. I don't, all I can say is I haven't seen one victim. And if someone has to stand up and be the bad guy and be the voice, fine, I'll do that. I've got 23,000 followers on Instagram. My name's DJ Isla, and I'm going to promote it to everybody. I'm going to make everyone say, I'm not sitting here, oh, this is nice what everyone's doing. Yes, great. But who's it for? Everyone's died, and no one wants to say it. Not the news. They don't want to say it. I had to hear a little kid say, my friends have died. Where are my friends? A little kid, five years old, six years old. Where, where are their friends? Everyone, everyone has died and no one is telling them, no one is telling people. And we're all here bringing water, boxes, packing, clothes, this, for what? Where's it going? If I find out that this stuff goes to Oxfam or to Red Cross and it doesn't go to the families of that building because we need 500 funerals paid for. We all went to bed, we all went to bed and woke up all right. They all went to bed and woke up with dead family. And there's a kid that got thrown out of a window. Who's paying for that? That person, that, that baby's mum who threw out the window. Who's paying for that person's, who, that woman's funeral? Who's paying for it? But we want to send boxes to who? 76 people. Okay, sorry. The 76 people, I think we got them. I think they're good. With everything that you've seen, 76 people. Cool. Okay, the 76 people are good. Where's the rest of the 500? Where are they? I'm seeing people walking around with missing on their, on their uh, piece of paper. But the news can't pick it up. I'll pick it up. DJ Isla is my Instagram page. If you want to find out and if you want to help and find out the truth, go on my page and find out what really is going on. Because the BBC News and all the news that are reporting, they're not reporting the truth. They're not reporting the truth. And I'm sick of everyone 
not saying anything. Everyone doesn't want to. My friends are asking me like, oh, Nadia, are you, are you at the centres? Yeah, I am at the centres. Please look for my auntie. These are my friends. Please look for my auntie. I can't tell her her auntie. I don't even want to say it. I, don't, I can't even say it.